Hey guys, uh, we're back again working on the Gansalot. Um, got the base here done. Um, hopefully this will show up on camera. But sanded down and smoothed out the uh, stone putty we put down last time. I think it came out really nice. It has a very interesting stone texture to it. So tonight we're going to um, get this set up to be scribed and then we're going to um, make the shield which completely forgot to do on the last stream so let's get to it so I'm gonna first start by just you know drawing out um, the lines so that then we can just come back and after we do a little masking and then we'll we can describe out the lines and plus doing it this way I can always just erase them and do them again now I'm wondering if I'm just internally debating if I want to do may have like a little bit more decorative smaller stones here and I don't know hmm now I'm starting to <laughs> debate how exactly I want to do this hmm. now this is where things start getting difficult is you now that okay now do I want to do something a little more artsy hmm. Oh, nice thing about using pencil, always come back and erase it. Okay, so that will be there. And that goes roughly to there. Put a little mark there. Hang on, let me get that lined up. There. This way I can know roughly where all the movements of the U are. So, yeah, there, like that. Okay. Do that. So yeah, I think we'll do small ones, big ones, then another set of big. Let's see, that's so a total of three across. Two. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Because of just how it's going to line up, I think we'll do instead make this a do I guess here. Yeah. So do it as this being one so large smaller, large, smaller, and then large. I think that'll work. Now, that's the hard part. Make sure to get this basically at a 90 degree. Now, we start right about here. Go. There. That one. There. 
Doesn't have to be perfect, but still has got to be somewhat close. So I'm going to put the using a different ruler. That's a little large. Yeah. It's just like that much off. Yeah. Go ahead and just erase these. Eventually we'll go back over this paint and it'll be as if it never happened. So apologize I haven't been on the stream the last few days. Um just had a couple things on my plate and the last time I planned to had a touch of a migraine that just completely knocked me down. Okay, so say so that's about an inch. It's about an inch and a quarter. Okay. So let's just get this aligned. Initial mark there. Up. Now that I think about it, what I might do is do these larger ones as stone gray and maybe come back and do those as maybe like a marble tile or something. Huh. Huh. Damn, now <laughs> I'm thinking of making this a little more artsy than I initially planned. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Now that's, that's the problem. Sometimes you just get a little bit of inspiration you weren't expecting and which you don't have you weren't thinking about. Okay. Next one in, inch and a quarter. Just have not been able to get on the stream the last few days for a multitude of reasons. But thankfully we're on now. Well, another thing why I'm thinking about it, um no, I don't know if anybody's gonna actually catch this. Really, I'll openly admit I really don't have much in the way of regular watchers for these streams. But um, next week, starting on Saturday, I'm going to be out of town. So, suffice it to say, will not be. Streaming. Um, aim next week. Okay, we got that in. Now the question is, do I want to keep that? Now, close to the same, or I'll set it in somewhere. Well, one thing I do know, I'm going to do, call it right about there. This will, there's our first stone cut there. I'm go over here. Well, I'll add in 
Hmm. Waiting if I want to do that. How do I want to do this? Hmm. Yeah, what we could do is once we get those cut. No, also I'll do an initial sort of gray for the stone. I'm thinking maybe come back, mask those sections off, come back in here with like silver, and then go over it with like a clear color. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to take a look at some options for doing marble. So I'm leaning towards doing that now. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> this is where things get interesting. Hmm. Let me see what it looks like. I do it. Um, basically, ma match up the cut lines. Okay, I got that off a little bit. Knock these goof lines up out before we continue just to make sure I don't forget about them. Obviously, some imperfections fine. Because let's face it, that imperfection will give us a little bit more realism. Okay, there we go. And why don't we cut this guy here? How about. There, okay. Now for our large stones down the middle. That lined up there. Let's see. Let's call it four inches. And that'll look good. Oh, excuse me. This lined up. There we go. Okay. Two. Four inches right there. So that's good enough. Okay, so we got that done. Yeah, I think I like the look of that. Oh. Ah. Now comes the fun part. Doing the masking. Start here. Hopefully, this dino tape won't damage. It's kind of a 
There we go. Okay. Oops. I just pulled up the. The um, pencil line. That's fine. All right. Uh, let's just run the scriber down the line. I do a couple passes just to make sure it's nice and deep. Okay, let's take a look. See how that feels. Mm. No, not there yet. Also, I want this to be, you know, deep enough that that once we get it done, we can run like a a uh, beetle wash down it that'll make it really stick out okay let's check it again that's good i like that that works okay that's our first bead line yep that's a nice cut so yeah, I just have to make sure we do a couple passes. All right. Okay, got that down again. Another reason I almost forgot why that string is having issues with my main monitor. Now, it really doesn't matter super much for this, because I only need one monitor, but if I want to do any type of gaming, or what have you, I do need a second monitor so I can have the um, OBS window and chat open so that, you know, on the off chance someone does start talking, I can obviously fly. Let's check this. Yeah. That's a good cut. Okay. Now, go ahead and get this, this guy. Hopefully, we won't have to have any issues with redoing some of the pencil lines. Okay, I'm going to push that down a little more. Obviously, some of this outer stuff will get. Oh shoot! If I end, you know, like this stuff here, this will probably get removed later. I'm not super worried about it. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice cut. Okay. Did that one. Let's get this guy now. <sighs> but now, you know, obviously, monitor dying on you does take a little bit of precedence. Just dealing with that. But what's weird is this is the second time my monitor has, quote, died, and the second time it's come back to life. Okay. Pull that back in. Hit that one another time. 
but no, it's weird. Uh, there's got to be, as far as I can tell, something going on screwy with the power. Don't know if it's the internals on the monitor, which given its age is entirely possible, or if it's the power cord. Okay. Let's get this guy. Now, unfortunately, it, it's one of those things that I need to test because I, I know it's not a case of the monitor overheating as it was. Just leaving it off for a little while would have solved the problem. Uh, give this line in the clear stones. Yeah, that's nice. Sorry, doing that off camera. Okay, so there's Get this next one. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be interesting it's when we come in to do the other ones. Make sure we get it. Oops. Make sure we get them between the panels without going too far. This is going to be. Well, much slower than the other one. Yeah, just double checking I did. Alright, cut those. Okay. That's good. Okay. I think that one's a little there. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to be out of town next week. Um, so it doesn't mean we won't be doing any more streams till I get back on the uh, 14th. But I still haven't gotten my work schedule yet, so. I don't even know if we'll be able to stream that night or day technically. As given the fact that Game of Thrones comes back, I'm probably going to be watching that. Uh, last season, want to see what happens. Though I'll admit, I have not read the books. It's definitely on my reading list, stuff I want to read. But it's not one I've you know, gotten around to picking up and reading yet. Okay. So first a good, uh, one thing I will do before we proceed, after we get done scribing, is um probably go over it some 2000 grit real fast just to smooth out any high spots we put in doing this other thing i'm debating on doing is um once we get the base paint on these if I'm gonna airbrush the lines first or how exactly we're gonna do that. And wait and see what this looks like um, after the color dries fully. Which 
which we may or may not get to tonight. We'll see how paint goes. Okay, give me two seconds. I need to trim up this piece because it's starting to die. That's fortunately the one problem with this uh, dyno tape is that it does wear out. I don't get so much use out of it. <clears throat> but thankfully it's really cheap. So I'm not gonna break the bank. Okay. Back. Okay. Um. Oh, by the way, speaking of other projects and that fine thing about it, the uh, Toyota. I uh, haven't made any progress on that. Um, again, partially because we haven't streamed, but also uh, because I was um, waiting for the doing the cleanup work on the chrome parts and the uh, in them. Simple Green actually did a better job stripping them than I thought it would do. They did it a lot faster. It's the last time I stripped some chrome parts, it seemed like it took days. So, I don't know. Could be just my memory or what, I don't know. But, um, yeah. Those came out really nice. Still have to do a second round of cleaning, though. As, um, as the smell had them sitting outside and started some of the parts started getting like a um, a uh, layer of some sort of crud on them um, next time we do work on that project um, I'll show you because we're gonna have to at this point uh, cut them off those chrome parts off the sprues so I can do another round of cleaning on them. Okay, that's that one. So now we just gotta get those guys. Can I get this guy? No, I haven't. Yeah. So we're making progress. Should be able to get this thing painted tonight. Then, obviously, finish up the night by doing the shield. Which, again, I can't believe I forgot to do that on the last stream. Yeah, I totally ditched on that. Oh, yeah, why well, I'm thinking about it. Another issue ran into. Um, once we finish this up, um, I'll talk about it. But ran into an issue with that um, aftermarket sword. It's not... You know, in the world bad, but it's a problem. Okay, got that one. Yeah, I need to start moving this dino tape up again because it's about to starting to crap out on me. Oh yeah, another news, I finally got my next flight in. It's been almost, well actually it's been, a, yeah, three months since I last flew. The last flight I did was in December 20th. So this flight I got in was on the 30th. Yeah, you know, something we don't normally get here in Cal SoCal is a lot of rain and bad weather. So this has just been a real oddball year. 
but it's something we get like every you know 10 to 20 years that's the cyclical the cyclical nature of weather so we do get these periods it's always in cycles okay come back and get this next guy almost done Yeah, what I'm thinking we'll do on these guys is like a marble effect. Leaning towards like a blue marble. And why we've got the um, stone panels also masked off. We'll add some gloss so that these will stand out really nicely. I did briefly just in my mind think about now doing those in gold but now I think a marble will look much sharper a couple more and we will be done So, there we go. That last one, just give it a little something just because. Okay, got that done. Give me a second to trim off the used bits of this tape. There's no point in saving it because it's not really going to be useful. Get it rolled up and and we can actually go to painting. Um, yeah, yeah, this tape reel unraveled on me. Hang on. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Give me two seconds to fix this up. Hmm. So yeah. Um, Hopefully this project will won't take too much longer. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I redid the um, polished aluminum. Tried two different. Um, I actually tried a couple different things. Uh, I also tried a fresh bottle when I did this, but the Alclad gloss clear still ate into the aluminum. Um, so yeah, that sucked. Tried, um, uh, Mr. Color Clear. That, at least as far as I could tell, really didn't. And I also tried, um, Vallejo Clear. And that didn't as well. So, I think we'll go with the, um, Mr. Color. So yeah, I think that's going to work the best. Grab dance a lot, just to, again, give us an idea. Oh, what I'm thinking about. Ran into an issue with the sword. Put the camera up. So, when I was doing some fitting, discovered. So where it doesn't fit in the hand. It's that much too big. So we got two options. We can either get the hand out. And either A, try and drill this open some more, which frankly I'm not sure is going to be the most effective way to do it. Or we cut down the sword. So it fits, but that's going to mean getting this, you know, perfectly sized and fitted where we want it. That's obviously got its own challenges. So we're not going to worry about that tonight. We're going to focus on getting that done and getting the shield done. 
and we'll save that for another night. Unfortunately, this is one of the downsides of using an aftermarket uh, thing like this. Fortunately, some stuff doesn't always work. Okay. Basic spray. Let's just put that out for now. Hopefully. This will not give us any issues. Oh, shoot. Got. Oh, shoot. Got to do something. Uh, where was that piece of sandpaper? Oh, where did it go? Okay, let's see. What grid is this? That's 400. That's probably too strong. Oh, where did it go? Damn it. This is... I don't know. Of all the times for the sandpaper you need... Yo, M-I-A. There it is. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is 2000. Give us just a quick once over. Try to make sure any high points get knocked down. Boom. Scraping. Not that it was really going to be that many from it, but when well, it was better to do it, be sure. Okay, now we paint. That completely ditched on that. Honestly, not um, mix in um, any paint into the Initial um, putty because I wanted to see what this looked like prior, and because I didn't know I'd be doing anything else to it. I think we may need. One or two coats of this stuff. Alternatively, I may have to just come back and airbrush. Right now we'll see what this looks like once I get it all on. I think I need to pour out a little more. And there we go. A little more stuff out. Yeah, I'm not thinking this down at all. Full color since it's acrylic as well it should dry pretty quickly depending on what it looks like once it's dry I may go back over it with an airbrush just to smooth it out uh, I'll say this point I don't no, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, 
it's getting too much brush strokes in there. Yeah. I have to come back. And you can barely see the Yeah. I can barely see where we did the scribing lines in it. Shoot. Yeah, this turned out being a lot thicker than I thought it would. Dang it. Okay. Alright. Time to go to Ooh. Ooh. Okay, give me two seconds. I just made a mess of myself. Yeah, this paint yeah, it just went on way too thick. Um, yeah, I've made a mess of myself, so I think we're going to have to call it quits there tonight while I go and clean this stuff up. Um, no stream tomorrow night or the night after. Um, <laughs> as I work both nights, and yeah, <laughs> this turned out to be a little bit of a mess. Yeah, the the, the paints is you can, you can kind of see it where I wiped it down with a Kleenex versus where I didn't. So yeah, I'm gonna go wipe this down. Gotta clean this up and salvage it. And yeah, we'll go from there next time. So, until then.